so the first thing you need to do is to add your image so you select the image you want to use add it to your document position it properly you can scale it down if you want to then after that ensure that the layer is locked then you add your text double tap the text to edit you can write whatever you want so i'm just going to use friday you can scale it up and then change the font so i'm going to use morganite semi bold So once you've selected your fonts, change the color as well to any color of your choice and then scale it up. Then take it below the image layer. Ensure the layer is locked in, click that icon and duplicate the layer. Then for this one, we are going to rotate it in 3D space. So align the text properly. And then look for the 3D rotate option. Then click on that and rotate it. So once you've gotten the desired position, you adjust the scale and ensure that it matches with both ends of the other text. So this might take you several trials to really perfect it. And then reduce the opacity. So take the opacity down. So after that, take it below the image layer and lock it as well. So you can adjust your image to fit with the framing of whatever you have behind. And then you can turn on your grids turn on the snapping option you see it as a magnetic sign and then it's going to snap your image to any of the grid lines once it's close to it you can see that so once you're done with that you can turn off the grid And then add shape so we are going to use this for the shadow so you can select the ellipse shape and then add some stroke first and take the stroke way up and then increase the blurriness of the stroke And then we're going to reduce the opacity of this so you just scale it down depending on how you want the shadow to be so let's reduce the opacity so this is just to add a little bit of realism to the design So adjust it as desired. So once you're done with that, ensure the layer is locked. 
make sure all layers are locked so that nothing is moved accidentally so take this below the image and then you can add any other text or any other element you need to add i'm just going to add thank god it's So afterwards you can change the color. You can change the font as well. Once you're done with that, export the design. I I prefer exporting as PNG. Then save to gallery. You can also save this as a template. You can always edit later.